Hey everybody, it's been a while. My last uh, sit down kind of record video like this was back in 2016, like, and it was about like what it would be, what I was worried about as far as, um, as far as being a senior, and it was about my feelings of leaving junior year, and I haven't done a lot of recording since then, and, um, but it's 26. 2017 now. <laughs> I've been writing 2016 on all my stuff. And I'm on a new computer, so hopefully the quality will be much, much better. Um, hopefully the sound quality is good too. I'm in a different location. I'm uh, sitting uh, where there there is the best lighting, which isn't even the best lighting. And um, I'm... Um, like I said, I'm on my, my new computer, so um, hopefully the sound quality is good. I've got the, the fish tank in the background there that hopefully isn't causing too much noise. And hopefully my cat will not like decide to try to become a part of the video. And if he does, then I'll have to stop the recording, get him off of the computer, <laughs> and then restart. So um, today I'm going to be doing something a little new. I'm going to be doing a sort of like video journal slash diary or whatever you want to call it. I'm going to call them video journals. Um, it's the first video of 2017. I haven't done anything in a while for this channel and I really want to start doing more. Um, so what I'm going to do is like I think I'm going to try once a week. That may be Saturdays. That may be Sundays like today. I don't know when you guys are going to see this. Hopefully I'll be able to put it up today. Um, <laughs> but um, today is Sunday the 8th of January. And um, I just got home from church. And a friend of mine, I was talking to her about her recent video. I'll link it in the description below. And... Um, she, I mentioned I might start doing videos like this, and she's like, do it. Um, so here I am. And so I'm just going to be sitting down once a week for a while, hopefully, um, and just talking about what's gone on during the week, what I'm looking forward to for the next week, and my feelings therein. Sort of like a sit-down vlog where I tell you about my week. Hopefully that's interesting and um, if nobody watches it, it's fine. I can just look back on it when I get nostalgic. So, um, first, since I just came from church, I kind of want to talk about church. Um, if you don't know me very well, I'm, uh, I'm very, I'm very deep into my church. I really love church. I love the youth group. I love the main services. I love, um, just worship in general. It's one of my favorite things to do. Um, and even in my art, I love worshiping. Um, there's going to be like a little, someone in the comments that's like, this is how many times she said, um, and, uh, to that person I say, uh, get a life. Um, uh, something cool in church is coming up. It's the night of worship. It's where the band gets together and um, does, well, worship, and everybody sits around and worship, worships with them for, I think it's like a good two or three hours, and it's a lot of fun. It's, it's so much fun. I really love it, and I do this thing called prophetic painting every time, and um, that's going to be on Friday at my church, and if you're a friend of mine and you're interested in going with me, <coughs> Tanner! <laughs> um, then hit me up about it. They're, we're doing chili night this week, and I'm so excited. Um, after the worship and everything, everybody's going to get together and have chili, because it's cold out. Like, it's all snowy and everything, so that's, that's what we're going to do. And I'm really looking forward to it. And, I don't know. I always love nights of worship. I always, I always do. knew that was going to happen. Oh, well. Um, I always love Nights of Worship. They're really fun. I'm really looking forward to this one, the first one of 2017. 
we do it like I think once every month. Not sure, but I'm really looking forward to that. Last time we did a, a night of worship. Um, when I do prophetic paintings, it's a thing where like I pray, I try to listen to see if God has a message for me or something, and then I take that message and I, I or I take that image or whatever He showed me, and I make a painting. And last time, I always try to think the day of, like I always pray throughout the day, try to see if I have like any recurring thoughts throughout the day. And the last time that we did it, that entire day, I had nothing. And I was praying and praying all day, and I had nothing, I couldn't think of a thing. And then, even when I was sitting in front of the blank canvas, I think 10 minutes into the service, I was just sitting there and I was like, I have no idea what I'm supposed to be painting right now. I have no idea what you want me to do, what this is supposed to mean. I have no idea what my job is right now. And I, w I actually started freaking out a little bit. I was like, what if there's nothing? What if I have nothing? Oh my gosh, my reputation. Because that, that was, it's something I've kind of grown a reputation for and I don't know how to feel about that. Um, it's kind of great, but also kind of nerve wracking because No. No, Cortana, I don't need your help. Um, and what was I even saying? Oh, it's something I've grown a reputation for, and it's kind of nice because then people will come up and talk to you about it, and you have something to talk about um, so that you can reach more people in the church and you can talk to more people and it's great that way, but there's also the feeling of, like, what if I mess up? <laughs> and last time, I had that feeling so strong because I had no idea what I was supposed to do. And then I sat down, knelt on the floor, and I just prayed my heart out. And I just got this image of vines. And I was like, okay, I'm not even going to question if this is me or God because it's the only thing I've gotten all day. <laughs> And I'm just going to roll with it. So the canvas that I had been given to work with had a hole in it. And I was like, you know what I could do? I could make it look like the vines are coming out of this hole and going across the canvas. Now, that could be cool. So I decided to go ahead and do it. And when it was nearly finished and the night was nearly over, um, the pastor came over and was like, uh, Pastor Tony, he said hey, the thing that I'm going to be preaching on on Sunday is, like, Jesus the Vine or something like that. can't remember the exact name of it. And I, on the outside, I was like, oh, that's very interesting. That's amazing. But on the inside, I was like, yes, that's so cool. And I lost it. And as soon as he was gone, I was externally like that as well. I was freaking out because... How can something, you can never convince me that that wasn't God because I went from no, having absolutely no idea to what I was supposed to do and freaking out to when I seriously buckled down and prayed to having this image pop into my head out of nowhere and have it, no, stay down there, no, and have it be what they were going to be preaching on on this next Sunday, the upcoming Sunday. You can't convince me that that wasn't God. <laughs> it was amazing. So, and that just kind of taught me that I need to just kind of relax my hold on some stuff and rely, rely on God. That was a message that I got from that, and I can't wait to see what this next painting is going to teach me because all of them so far have taught me something. It's been amazing. <laughs> it's been a real, real joy to do it. Um, I, have, I have notes right here. That's what I keep looking at. Um, in my last like sit-down vlog like this, I was talking about school and about... And about, I should have locked the cat away somewhere. I really, really should have. I'm sorry. God. Go away! I'm sorry. I didn't have the foresight to think to do that. I'm sorry. Um, 
the last sit down vlog I did, I was talking about like my worries about um, senior year, or at least I think that's the last sit down vlog I did. If I didn't, I'm gonna look like an idiot. Um, take. So I'm just gonna talk about how senior year's been going so far. Um, I mean, we're halfway through the semester. Um, well, not through the semester, through senior year. Last semester, I did pretty good in most of my classes. It was challenging, of course, but it I got through most of it. And um, so far this semester, I've, I've decided to be really determined and work as hard as I can. Um, I had so much homework this weekend, I was worried I wouldn't even be able to do this video. And I got it all done Friday night and Saturday night because I was like, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to power through this and I'm going to get it done. And that's exactly what I did. So that went that went well and hopefully that will be how the rest of this semester goes. Um, being a senior, sorry, cats messing with me. Being a senior isn't too different than being a junior. There's just more pressure put on you because you don't want to be that one person who next semester is not next semester next year is here again and everybody like knows that you didn't do well because that's just embarrassing and then and you have everybody's expectations to follow this path that you didn't exactly sign up for and not to say that i'm not excited to be a senior and not excited to move on to college it's just that it all seems to be going really fast that's all so that's all I'm going to talk about school, because school is stressful and stupid. Um, I'm actually going to be running out of time for what I'm talking about. Um, if you guys like this type of video, tell me in the in the comments and give it, smash that like button. Um, if you liked my cat jumping into every single freaking frame, go ahead and let me know about that too. That wasn't aggravating at all. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to keep doing this. Maybe I'll do it when I... Maybe I won't do it, like, weekly, but maybe I'll do it whenever I have something to talk about. Like a rant, or, like, something you're really excited about. If you're excited about it, does it count as a rant? Not sure. Anyway. Oh, also, I changed my hair color. Don't know if you can tell. It looks so damaged. That's sad. <laughs> but it was supposed to be gray, but the, it reacted with the blue that was already in my hair. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. I hope you all the best, and I'll be praying for all of you in the week to come. On, if you want to go to, if you know me, obviously, and you want to go to Night of Worship on Friday, let me know. Text me. Yep. Say goodbye. Say goodbye. It's like put me down. And now there's cat fur everywhere. Wonderful. Okay. Okay. Sorry, I was putting my mouse over the pause button. So, will that make you leave me alone? No. Tell everybody bye-bye. Say bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.